Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more videos about coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving the problem lead code single number. So let's get started. The problem is that they give us a non-empty array of integers and the task is to find the element that appears only once in the array. So for example, let's say we have this input array. The element that appears only once is four. And note that in the details problem, we must implement a solution with linear runtime complexity and use only constant extra space. But in this video, I will show you both solution using a linear space complexity and also constant space complexity. So the brute force approach to solve this problem is by using a hash set or a hash table. Let's say we have this input array. The first thing we need to do is to initialize a hash set that's going to have as a key the element of the array and as value the time of appearance of the element inside the array. So we start by looping throughout the array and at each iteration we store the element inside the hash set for example 4 and the value to be 1 which represent the number of appearance then we move to the next number we have 1 we store it inside the hash set and we give it a value of 1 the same thing for the element 2 moving to the next element 1 so we already have 1 inside the hash set so we increase the number of appearance to 2 and the same thing for the last number because we already have seen it. Finally, we're gonna loop throughout the array another time, and at each iteration, we're gonna access the hash set using the element of the current iteration and check if its value is one. So once we found it, we return the element. So the time complexity for this solution is O of n because we are looping throughout the array once, and the space complexity is also O of n, which is a linear space complexity because we are creating a hash set that related to the input array. So the second way to solve this problem is by using a mathematical formula or a bit manipulation method. So let's see how it's going to work. So first we start by taking the sum of the unique element that we have in this array and then we take the sum of all the elements that we have in the array. And then we will have the formula for finding the unique element in an array using a byte manipulation. And the formula is to multiply by a plus b plus c minus a plus a plus b plus b plus c which equal to c. So if we did the calculation in this formula we will have a result which equal to 2 multiplied by c minus c which is gonna give us the result. So basically the formula is 2 multiplied by unique sum of all the elements inside the array minus the sum of all the elements inside the array which equal to the result. So let's say we have this input array. So first we start by calculating the sum of all the elements in our array which is equal to 10. Then we calculate the sum of all the unique elements in the array which will give us 7. After that we apply our formula by multiplying the unique sum of the elements in the array by 2 which is gonna give us 14 then after that we calculate the difference between them which is gonna give us the element that appear only once in the array which is in this example 4. So the time complexity for this solution is often because we are looping over the input array once and the space complexity is often since we are using a set function in python that create an object related to the input array. So the best solution and the solution that have a constant space complexity meaning all of one is by using the exclusive of or operator and the exclusive or operator is a bitewise operator or it's a binary operation that takes two binary numbers and perform the exclusive or operation on each pair of corresponding bit and it's produced a new binary number as the result so let's see the rules of the exclusive or operation so the first rule if both bits are one then the result will be zero so if both bits are zero then the exclusive or bit will be zero the last rule is if one bit is zero and one bit is one then the exclusive operator will result will be one so let's say we have this input array so we start by looping throughout the array and for each integer we perform an exclusive or operation so the first iteration will have four and binary and one and binary so we have zero and one which give us one then we have zero and zero which give us zero we have one and zero equal to one and we have zero and zero which equal to zero so the result will be five which is in binary equal to the result from the exclusive or operation so the same thing we're gonna repeat the same process by using the, ex the exclusive or operation as all the numbers S so since every number in the array appears twice except for one all the pairs of numbers will cancel each other out when we perform the exclusive or operation on them so the only number that will be left is the unique number that appears only once and it's four. So the time complexity for the solution is off n since we are iterating throughout the array once and the space complexity is off one since we are not allocating 
any auxiliary space and memory that's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution so for the two first solutions i'm gonna write the code in vs code since in delete code question they only ask for constant space so the first solution will be by using the hash set which have a linear time and space complexity so we start by initializing a hash set then we loop over the array and that each time we check if it's the first time the element appear in the array if true we give it a value one otherwise we increment the value of the key element by one then we loop another time over the array and we use the hash set to search for the element that we have the value equal to one and we return it as a result so the second solution will be by using the mathematical formula and it's gonna be just one line so we return two multiply by the sum of the set of the unique elements in our array minus the sum of all the elements in the array so the last solution will be by using the exclusive or operator and which have constant space complexity so we start by initializing variable called results and set his value to be zero then we loop throughout the array and for each element we'll perform the exclusive or operation with the result variable so since every number in the array appear twice except for one all the pairs of number will cancel each other so the only number that will be left is the unique number that appear only once and finally we return the value of the result which will be the unique number we are searching for that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video